How's it going guys? Pooch Boy Studios back in another video and today we have an update or part two to my chaotic painting series. So my progress so far is I've essentially built the entire attack force and I've started the conversion on the Vindicator and I've pretty much finished the Forge Fiend. I've also built up the tactical squad the Terminator Squad and the Raptor Squad. These two squads I didn't really do any conversion work on. I just wanted them to be quick and easy to build. But I could have, but hmm. also for the Raptor Squad it's pretty stock except for the Sergeant who has some wings from the uh what's the name? Possessed Squad box thing. And that's just so I could give the Lord a jump pack. Going over the Forge Fiend conversion, it's pretty simple. I essentially just glued the legs onto the base and then the body fitted right in. The arms are the hardest bit. These arms are for the Mauler Fiend version of the kit. But I essentially slice them off of the elbow and then use some plastic hard rod to attach them. This will be green stuffed over, it look like muscle. This arm I just glued straight on. So overall he looks pretty good and he's pretty tall in comparison to a normal case space marine. Next up, the most work I've done out of the whole kit was this Vindicator conversion. It's still incomplete, it needs a bit of filling and some more detailing. But I essentially took the Rhino, started up armoring it, just gluing these panels on. Then the gun came from a spare piece from the Corn Lord of Skulls that fit on very nicely. On top I've sort of rearranged how the kit or the normal Rhino looks. Usually it's got two hatches at the front but that didn't make sense if you've got a giant cannon here you wouldn't really have room to put a hatch so they got moved back and I've got two in there and that gave me some room to move the Havoc launcher up and a searchlight also on the back I used the vent area from one of the pieces that go onto the top of the Rhino just to give a bit more detail and some extra arm on the back Overall, it's used quite a bit of plastic card, about a full A4 sheet, which I wasn't very impressed with, but hey, it looks awesome. Also, the C shield comes off just using plastic card rods. I managed to make a very snug fit in two holes here. Also, I have another piece, which is one of the rams from the Rhino kit, which it fits on if I don't want to take the C shield. This goes in very easily. So for the next update I probably would have base coated all these models or maybe just prime them and I'll most likely finish the work on the Vindicator. So look forward for that and as always please remember to comment, like and subscribe.